Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place, and Balak also went his way. Bamidbar Numbers chapter 25 And Yishrael abode in Shatim, and the people began to play the harlot with the daughters of Moab, for they called the people to the sacrifices of their gods, and the people did eat, and bowed down to their gods. And Yishrael joined himself to Baal Paror, and the anger of Yahweh was kindled against Yishrael. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Take all the chiefs of the people, and hang them up to Yahweh before the sun, that the fierce anger of Yahweh may turn away from Yishrael. And Moshe said to the judges of Yishrael, Slay ye every one of his men that have joined themselves to Baal Paror. And behold, one of the children of Yishrael came and brought to his brothers a Madianith woman in the sight of Moshe and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Yishrael while they were weeping at the door of the tent of appointment. And when Pinehas, the son of Elazar, the son of Aharon the priest, saw it, he rose up from the midst of the congregation and took a spear in his hand, and he went after the man of Yishrael into the pavilion and thrust both of them through, the man of Yishrael and the woman through her body. So the plague was stayed from the children of Yishrael, and those that died by the plague were twenty and four thousand. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Pinehas, the son of Elazar, the son of Aharon, the priest, hath turned my wrath away from the children of Yishrael, in that he was jealous with my jealousy among them, so that I consumed not the children of Yishrael in my jealousy. For what reason say, Behold, I give to him my covenant of peace, and it shall be to him and to his seed after him the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was jealous for his God and made atonement for the children of Yishrael. Now the name of the man of Yishrael that was slain, who was slain with the Midyanith woman, was Zamri, the son of Salu, a prince of a father's house for the Shumaoni. And the name of the Madianith woman that was slain was Kozabi, the daughter of Ur. He was head of the people of a father's house in Madian. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Vex the Madianim, and smite them! For they vex you with their wiles, wherewith they have beguiled you in the matter of Paror and in the matter of Kozabi, the daughter of the prince of Madian, their sister, who was slain on the day of the plague in the matter of Paror. And it was after the plague that Yahweh spoke to Moshe and to Elazar, the son of Aharon the priest, saying, Take the sum of all the congregation of Yishrael from twenty years old and upward by their fathers' houses, all that are able to go forth to war in Yishrael.